Hi, this is Miranda with Magic City Mama, and well, I'm here with a little bit of a story time. Um, I had planned to make like at least two videos a week while I was on my little holiday vacation break from work, my main job. Um, and the last thing I posted was a little short of like some date night makeup that I was, uh, that I had put on, uh, for a date. <laughs> and I was going to post a video of the look on my, um, actual YouTube, like a long form video, but something happened very, very unfortunate to me, uh, while I was on that date. So I haven't been posting anything because I've been a little bit just discouraged and a little down and just frustrated. <clears throat> so I figured today I would just put on my regular makeup for work um, because I'm going to my second job and just talk a little bit. <laughs> so it's uh, get ready with me. So I already put on the primer. For primer, I, I put on the Hourglass, uh, the Mineral Veil Primer. It has sunscreen in it already. Uh, and then I'm going to put on the, the Ambiance Soft Glow Foundation. Um, using the color 3.5, it's called Ambiance. So anyway, like I was saying, that was a Friday, like two weeks ago, and I had a date, which I hadn't been on a proper date. Well, no, I went on a proper date like a couple weeks before. But anyway, I was pretty looking forward to going on a date. You know, I started dating again. I decided to put myself back on the apps. And, you know, I'm a little discouraged because I just don't see anybody I think that, you know, I'm, I could vibe with or, you know. Anyway, long story short, I'm in the car. Apparently, I did have my wallet. Like, I run home from work. Okay, sorry. Cut. I leave work. Job number one. I go to job number two. I leave job number two, pick up my daughter, come home, switch purses really fast, and call the Uber. So I was kind of in a rush because I had to be at dinner by eight. So I'm in the Uber, and I I did use my credit card in the Uber to update my credit card, not the Uber, the Lyft, um, to update my credit card info to pay for the ride. I get to the restaurant. Everything's good. Um, we have dinner. The bill is like $300. And I don't know, for some reason, I maybe I thought I was going to pay for the tip or something like that because um, I didn't realize how expensive that restaurant was. And I was just like, oh, I don't have my wallet with me. I was like, oh, I, I left my wallet at home, which sounds like the most lame ass excuse like that people say when they don't want to pay for stuff. Right. I left my wallet at home. And for some reason, I was really thinking I left my wallet at home. Um, so anyway, no problem. My date pays for the dinner and the tip and they want to go to a club in South Beach. Okay. Like number one, I barely ever go clubbing. Okay. And number two, when I do, I never go to South Beach. Okay. No offense if you like South Beach, but just, that just isn't my vibe. I used to live in South Beach when I was in my twenties and I used to, you know, like South Beach and whatnot, but like, I just don't, it's just not my vibe anymore. Okay. If I go out, I probably go to like Wynwood or something like that. So long story short, I'm texting my friend and I'm texting my daughter just to let her know like, Hey, I went to a club in South Beach. I'll be home later. No problem. I'm dancing, blah, 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 blah. It gets to be like an hour or two in and I check my phone again. Okay. And my phone is gone. Yeah, my iPhone is gone. It's missing. That's it. I, the date's over. Like, I up to that point, I had been, like, trying to have fun. You know, like, it's not my vibe, but it's not like I'm going to sit there and with a sour puss face and, like, not dance and have a couple of drinks and not have fun. Like, no, I was having fun. I was dancing. I was having a good time. And I just went to check on the time one more time. Um, and I realized my phone was gone. Now, while I was dancing, I did like the stupidest thing. 
I have this purse. It's like a little bucket bag and you pull the tab and it closes. And while I was dancing, I had put the purse on my backside. Instead of having it in the front, like bouncing around while I'm dancing in the way, you know, I put it on my backside. And I guess apparently while it was there and I was dancing, somebody had managed to pickpocket my purse and took my phone. Um, because later on in the evening, when I went to the security guards to um, ask them if anybody had found a phone or, or, or whatnot, there was some other guys there and they were like, we got two phones taken from us. And then when we were outside talking to the bouncer outside and we were like, yeah, they took my phone. If anybody found a phone or if anybody found one, and turned it in, they were like, oh man, you know, like this has been going on. We've been trying to figure out like, Who's been stealing all the phones? So apparently, in clubs, there are people um, who go around pickpocketing phones. Um, so yeah, that really put a like a downer on my night. I was so upset, um, and I hadn't even realized at that point until the next day that I dropped my damn wallet in the lift when I went to input my credit card. It was dark, and I don't know how I freaking did this, but I just dropped my damn wallet in the car, and I left. And so the next morning, I tried to contact the Lyft driver, and I and I did manage to contact him. Um, he said he it was gone. Like he said, he picked up so many other people that they probably found the wallet and just took it. Which whatever, it didn't have money in it, but I really liked that wallet. It was like my favorite wallet. I've had it for so many years, and my ID was in it, and some credit cards, and my insurance cards were in it, uh, my COVID vaccine card, and all that. So you know that really sucked. But the whole night I had kept saying I left my wallet at home. Because for some reason, I forgot I used it in the lift. And I thought maybe when I was changing purses, I just left it out. But I totally forgetting that I had used my purse in the lift. Like, I don't know what was wrong with me. I just, like I said, I like never go out. Probably for good reason. Because look what happens. The day that I, the day that I actually go out and I, I just lose all my shit. Um, so yeah, that was, that was my big date. You know, I wish it would have been ended more on a positive note. I ended up crying at the end of the night, um, because of my phone, because I didn't know what was, what was saved to the cloud and what wasn't. And I just have like, ah, so many pictures and videos of my kids and personal information and, just basically you realize like how dependent you become on your phone. It's almost like a part of you. It's like a part of your brain, you know, so you don't have to save so many memories internally. You use the phone for that. And, you know, just so many apps and, you know, things that make life so much easier um, on the phone, I including my saw, you know, the apps that I use to upload videos from my camera, um, and to edit videos. And at home, I did have an old iPhone, um, iPhone eight, and I was able to take it to the T-Mobile store. And I told them what happened. And I was like, Hey, I have this old phone. Can I just for now get, um, a SIM card? So I put the SIM card in my old phone but you know it's an old phone it just the video is not good the camera is not as good it's just a lot glitchier and stuff like that and it sucks because I still had $200 left to pay on the iPhone but I think what I had was an iPhone 12 max and I was planning to just upgrade you know to the new iPhone and give the 12 max to my oldest daughter my 17 year old so we could both be on the same iPhone and do FaceTime and things like that. The funny thing is <laughs> the next day, my date who was staying in South beach, actually in a hotel, um, until they get something more permanent told me that they saw a dude in a BMW, like a pretty new BMW, get out, 
walk up to a dude with a monkey on his shoulder in South Beach, hand him a stack of phones, and take off. So, apparently, this is a some kind of crime ring, and part of what they do to make money is stealing phones. So yeah, I wasn't the only victim that night. And, you know, unfortunately, shit happens. You know, I was trying to have a good time and dancing and probably not doing the smartest thing by putting my purse on my back instead of in my front where I could keep a better eye on it. It's just that nothing like that has ever happened to me in my entire life. Like I've never, I've never been a victim of pickpocketing. Like I have had my car broken into at night and things like that because unfortunately living in a city like Miami, I think things like that are just becoming more commonplace. Um, so, you know, my window has been broken out like at least two times. If I've left my car open, they've opened it at night, stuff like that, you know, like, okay, like I could see stuff like that happening, but to be actually pickpocketed while I'm wearing my purse, like that has never happened to me ever. So, you know, lesson learned, I will always keep an eye. And the thing about the wallet, I, I just, I can't explain that. There's just no words for that. Like that was just a senior moment or something. Like I literally got scared. Like both of my grandmothers had Alzheimer's and sometimes I'm just like, Am I starting to get early dementia? Because how could I do something like that? I don't know. Has anybody else ever done anything like that? Just like, just like, I don't know. Like use your wallet, put it down, drop it. And then think you actually left your wallet home when really you lost your wallet and you had used it just 10 minutes ago. Ay, ay, ay. I have no idea. So anyway, yeah, it's the holidays. And I had my moment, you know, like I cried about it after it happened. Like, and then my date was just like, don't be mad at me. And da, 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 da. and I was like annoyed by that, you know, like, I don't know about anybody else, but I think it's like a woman thing. When I'm upset, like, I don't need you to tell me like, everything's fine. You can just fix it in the morning. You could do this. You can do that. You can just get a cheap phone. Like, I don't need you to tell me how to fix my problems. Okay. Like, I just need to have a moment. I need to be upset. I need to process everything that happened. And, you know, yeah, obviously I'm a, I'm a damn adult. Like I know like shit happens and I know how to deal with it. Like the next day, like I know I have an old phone. I can take it to T-Mobile, I can, you know, when I get paid, you know, get another phone eventually. Um, it's not the end of the world, you know, like I, I know all that. Okay. But number one, it's still upsetting. It's still a pretty big inconvenience. And number three, like I have a right to be upset in the moment and it's okay. Like I can just be upset for, you know, the night and want to go home and call it a night and, you know, deal with everything in the morning. Like you don't have to tell me like, Oh, it's, it's just a phone. Everybody loses their phone. It happens to everybody. Um, you could just fix it tomorrow and you could do this and you can do that. And you know, like bad things happen. Like, no, I don't want to hear any of that bullshit. Like if you're my friend, I seriously just want you to be there with me in the moment, sympathize with me about how shitty it is um, that that happened to me. And um, yeah, that's it. Like, I don't, I don't need you to, to like mansplain me or anything like that. Okay. Like, yeah, I am a big girl. I know I can deal with it. Shit happens. People lose their phones. There's worse things in the world that could happen to you. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. It was a really weird night. Well, it turned out to be a really strange night um, just because of all that stuff that happened. So that's my eyebrows, my base. Um, what do I want to do today? What am I doing today? I'm going to work for a little bit. Uh, yeah, and that's about it. So I'm going to use some stuff probably that I, I just haven't really used on camera before, even though it's not really new. 
um, or new to me, but I haven't used it. So I don't know if I've used that foundation before. Um, I think I'm going to use the Gucci blush in the color Rosy Beige. It's a nice neutral. I have this one. I have Rosy Beige and I have it in Bright Coral, which is also a very pretty color. Um, I think I'm going to put some of the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Contour Wand in the color Fair Medium. And you must forgive me, I don't have my glasses on. So sometimes it's a little hard for me to see exactly what I'm doing. I probably should have a hand mirror. And I've been meaning to get one. I just haven't done it yet. So yeah, besides all that, uh, you know, Christmas still came. My kids had a good time. I had gotten them the PS5. So... They were very excited about that. I got them a few games and they were already arguing about taking turns to play it, which I kind of knew was going to happen <laughs> anyway. Um, and we just need to get like a second controller for it. My idea actually around getting the PS5 was because I wanted to get did I mention this before that there's an Atari suite? I feel like I've talked about this. But there's an Atari suite that has a bunch of old Atari games. And, you know, to be honest with you, the last time I was into video games was when it was a Atari. And my brother had, like, the Nintendo and, and stuff like that. And I played it with him a little bit. I played, like, Tetris. I think Tetris is probably my favorite game. And Mario. Um, so, but the last time I was really into playing video games, I was really small. I was... I was I was like five and I used to like to play certain games on Atari, like Breakout, Super Breakout. Um, oh, by the way, this is the powder I use. I don't think I've used this one before on camera. This is the Guerlain Prism Libre in Mousseline Pastel. Um, I also have the pink, the pink powder. I think I'll use that since I haven't used this on camera and I haven't used the Gucci blush, I'll use them together. So I'm going to use the Gucci blush. Ooh, I put a lot on today. I'm going to make it, make it worth your while. Yeah, so the last time I was into playing video games was when, just when it was at the Atari system. So probably dating myself, aging myself, whatever. But I wanted to be able to play some video games with my kids for fun because that's what they're into you know and you know I, I do other things with them but like part of me wanted to be able to do something with them that they're into and you know although they're may not really be into atari games because their games are way more complicated and complex and fancy than that but i figured at least if i was making an effort to play with them in a way that they like and they relate to, that it would be, you know, good and healthy for our relationship. So, you know, I know there's a lot of parents who are like, I'm not going to play video games. I'm not going to, I'm not going to learn about, you know, whatever it is, Minecraft or, or, you know, um, Nintendo or whatnot. But like, I don't see why not. You know, like, if it's something your kids are into, I mean, and that's how they like to play, I don't see what's wrong with trying to, like, relate to them on that level and, and like, trying to, like, at least show a little effort um, and interest in things that they like that maybe you don't necessarily like. You know, like, I feel like, I don't know, it's it's positive. It's a positive for the relationship. Not that you have to be into it, but hey, every once in a while, it's okay to do something different. I mean, we always make our kids do things they don't want to do, right? We can also be flexible with them and do things that they like. That's just my, that's just my theory. You know, everybody, you do you, and I'm not judging. Okay, so... 
Oh, I got this, um, which I really like because uh, I have a little bit of a like wrinkly lips. So I got this Grande, Grande Hydrating Lip Plumper. And usually I just put a little of that on while I'm doing my makeup. And let it sit. And it also came with, like it was a little set, so it came with this Grande Plumping Lip Mask that I use at night. And <clears throat> this Grande Buff, like a sample size of this, which I usually will put this on and then before I put my lip stuff on, I'll just scrub my lips a little bit. And it it it's like a little bit of a cooling, but not too much, it's not overpowering because <laughs> when I was looking for a lip plumper, I, was trying some on and I put one on my hand and it, I I don't remember the exact name but it, the brand was Too Faced and it wasn't their regular lip plumper it was like the max lip plumper that they have like like the one that's like the super intense one and I swear to god I put some on my back of my hand my hand was on fire first of all the rest of the day the night and it started to get red and swollen and itchy like crazy. It like literally broke out in a rash. And I was like, uh, whoa. <laughs> I'm so glad I did not put that on my lips. All right, so I haven't used this on camera yet. Um, this is the Empowered pa Palette by Huda Beauty. And I really am enjoying this palette. I like the colors. Um, I think it's gotten, I feel like on, uh, on like makeup reviewers channels, it's gotten sort of like a mixed review. Like some people really liked it. Some people didn't like it as much. I'm enjoying it. Actually, the, the, the last couple palettes I've gotten from Huda Beauty, I've really enjoyed. I don't know why my camera is flashing. One second. I've really enjoyed, like, I've really enjoyed the rose gold palette as well. I think this one is a winner. All right, so I'm just going to I think for the most part, I've, I've really enjoyed using this area, the warmer colors. So I'm just gonna actually let me prime. Okay, so I just primed my eyelids with the About Face Eye Primer. I'm going to go in with, I guess, this one here, this top one. And I'm going to go mostly in the outer three corners. Then clean my brush. I'm going to go in with a lighter shade. This one here. On the inside. I forgot which one I used. And I think in the very inner, inner, I'm going to go in with a lighter still shade here, this one. I do see that these are kind of similar. And I'm going to go in with a blending brush and I'm going to take the darkest shade that I used and kind of go 
around. So yeah, I don't know how I'm going to edit this video yet. I haven't decided if I'm going to try to download the app that I had used on my phone or if I'm going to try to actually use my laptop because I did get a laptop, like a new laptop. Um, and part of my thinking besides just for regular work in getting a new MacBook was to actually try to edit videos on the MacBook because I felt like it, you know, it had more power and it might be actually better to do, to do videos there. All right. So this is, so yeah, I always, when I blend out, I always blend out above the socket because I have hooded, hooded lids. <clears throat> you know, that's part of it. It's kind of how my eyes are naturally shaped. And definitely a big part of that is aging. And I don't know, like, what is there besides eyelid surgery? What is there available to actually help to combat that and lift your eyelids. I don't know, has anybody tried anything? Okay, and then what I usually will put is one of these shiny shades. And I think I'm gonna go with this one right here with just a finger. And I'm going to kind of put that all over. I think that is really pretty. Like, it's just a really pretty formula. And then I'm going to go with the gold here, which is like kind of a neutral gold. Because there are different golds. There's more yellow golds. And yeah, those two golds are very similar as well. I actually used one of those, and I... One of them I used, I didn't really like it that much because I felt like it was too um, gritty. Like I, it had loose, loose um, glitter in it and the glitter got like all over my face. And I really hate that <laughs> when glitter falls and gets all over my face. Because usually that's not the look I'm going for. All right, so this is what I have. I'm going to line the bottom of my eyes with the Persona eyeliner in, I'm sorry, my, like my LED screen is like flashing a lot and I've noticed that on this camera, it does that. I don't think it's something you can see in the video, but for me, it's pretty distracting. And I'm not sure why. I have a I have a GoPro Hero 10, I believe. I don't know if anybody else does that. So I just line the inside and the outside. I align the waterline. And I think I want to put something a little darker on the outside. So I'll probably take the darkest color that I had worked with. And then I will take the a blending brush and I'm just going to like Blend that a little bit up and around. Uh, 
I will clean up a little bit with a sponge. Any fallout. And for mascara, I will use the RMS Beauty Straight Up Mascara. I actually really like this mascara. Dare say I like it better than the Tower 28. I just feel like it fluffs out my lashes better. You see that? I like it. I'm going to put some on my bottom. I do have the other one for the bottom lashes from this brand. I told you it was like I got in their mystery box and it's just like the wand is like super duper tiny. But I found it to be actually really good for the lower lashes. <clears throat> I'm going to clean up a little with my brush that I used for, found for concealer. There you go. Senior moment. I hate that. Like sometimes like I cannot find a word for something, you know, something very basic that I've said like and used daily and I've said a million times. It's like, like concealer. I couldn't think of the word concealer. I don't know what that is. I do have ADHD. I'm hoping it's just that. And it's not like early onset <laughs> Alzheimer's. Okay, and so, because I'll be right back. Actually, I'm going to put a little bit of the lip scrub on my lip. On my lips. Take off the foundation. All right, I'll be right back. See, I think it's discontinued. My favorite lip liner of all times is this one. It's L3, Natasha Denona. Actually, let's use this one. Does anybody know if they still make this one? You see it's like in a different, a different packaging. It's like the old white pencil. But I just adore this color. It is definitely like what they mean by your lips, but better. It's just a perfect nude. Okay. And I'm seeing like I have a little bit of a foundation mustache. So I'm going to take that down afterwards with a little spray. So I got these lip products from Merit. So I've got their one of their lipsticks in the color Tiger, which is like a brick red, I believe, or an orangey red. Oh my God, this thing will stop flashing. All right, so hopefully you don't see the flashing when I edit the video, but this is the color Tiger from Merit in the lipstick, and then I have Marrakesh in the lip oil, and I'm just going to put that on the center of my lips to combat dryness and give a little shine. And that is like almost a perfect color match. I'm not sure about maybe this eyeliner, maybe this lip liner is a little too dark for this lipstick, but oh well. All right, and then at the end, I'm just gonna be very careful with my eyelashes and give myself a spray with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Spray. Yeah. 
And I said I had like a little bit of a foundation mustache. Probably should like wax my upper lip or something. I think that's why. I think it like the foundation gets a little stuck on the little hairs there, the like little baby hairs. And I'm just going to push that in, blend everything. Blend between my eyebrows. I find sometimes I get a little foundation buildup right there between my eyebrows. So I always want to go in and double check. So yeah, this is the final look. I just got to do my hair now and get dressed and go to work. So I hope I didn't bring anybody down with my story, but I just was, you know, like I said, I was planning to do so many more videos over this holiday break and I just, all the shit hit the fan and I just kind of like got a little discouraged. So today I think is the first day that I finally like, you know what, screw it. I'll figure it out. I'll make a video. I'll edit it on my computer or whatever I have to do, but I'm not going to let some stupid thieves stop me from living my life. Anyway, have a fantastic uh, rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. And please subscribe. It would help me out, like, so much. You wouldn't believe it. But anyway, bye.